Hey what's going on guys, it is Psycho here and welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I'm gonna be answering one of your guys' questions because this is one of the biggest questions that you guys have been asking me um, ever since I started my channel I guess because a lot of people just have been asking me since I started using Unreal Engine 2 and um, I just wanted to make this video where I sort of clarify the situation and um, sort of give my opinion for you guys. But anyway, the question is basically if I like Unity or Unreal Engine more. Now, this is going to be a little bit cliche, but let me just start by saying I really, really love both the engines. If you guys haven't tried that, tried both out, go ahead and do it because it's really worth getting the experience from both engines because if you ever decide to start using a different engine or maybe even create your own one you're at least going to have this experience in your mind and you're gonna be like oh yeah this was that and that was that and also if you enjoy this video guys I would really appreciate if you slap that like button I would like to see 60 likes on this video it was 50 on previous ones so let's go for 60 with this one but anyway guys without further ado let's get started with this Alright, so first of all, I would like to point out a topic that is called for workflow. Um, I'm just going to compare Unity and Unreal Engine to each other and how they perform in different areas and topics that I have already um, sort of split this video up to. Um, so I want to start off with workflow and basically what I mean by that workflow is simply just how you work and how the engine lets you work in um, inside of the engine. And when you open up Unity, you can almost see that even if you're unexperienced with Unity, you can almost see that it's really, really simple to work on Unity because it's it's workflow and the pattern is just so simple. There are no buttons and modules or uh, different type of uh, you know construction that really makes you confuse. It's just simple game engine that lets you know what you're doing right now. For example, if you go through the Unity documentation or a very simple tutorial video, it's gonna say, well, this is the inspector window and this is where you literally edit everything about your game object. And that's fine, that's, that's actually it. Like there is nothing behind the scenes that you have to learn about editing game objects. Obviously you can do it in different ways, but that is the primary one that is supporting Unity and which is the user friendliest. So you're going to be able to use the inspector menu from that point on and edit every single game object as you wish to. But in Unreal Engine, it's like, oh yeah, this is the inspector menu, just like the one in Unity. And then you want to edit the material for a game object, like make it more glossy or whatever. And it tells you to, oh, you can't do that from here. You have to go into the blueprint settings. I'm going to talk a little bit more about blueprint further in this video, but I just want to say right now, um, I am not a blueprint type of guy. I've been using it for uh, four years, actually, before I started getting with programming. But I was using a different engine back then. I think it was called for a 001 engine. And, um, you know, I was using Blueprint system on that or something similar to Blueprint. It was a call for Blueprint, but it was the same system. And the pattern was so easy that I was just, you know, I didn't even think that I would ever need programming knowledge in my life because that was just comp compensating for it. But I'm going to come back to the Blueprint system in Unreal Engine, so I don't want to really throw out any comments more than that. But basically what I'm trying to say is that the workflow in Unity is so much easier because you know that if somebody tells you this is the place where you're gonna edit everything about your game object, you know there is going to be there's not going to be any behind the scenes about that. You don't need to go into a blueprint system and edit everything from there while it looks like a mess. It's very simple and it's laid out in front of you. And the entire workflow is like that. Not only the inspector and not only the creation of a game object or whatever, it's simple like that, right? But even the game window and scene window, like you can have these two beside each other in Unity, whilst in Unreal Engine you can't do it. And then there are also some, there is also something called for viewports in Unreal Engine. I guess it's like the game window um, where you can basically see the game window from your camera perspective. And you can also pin the cam camera perspective into your scene window, which is the you know equivalent in Unreal Engine to Unity. So you can basically have it like this on screen right now, and you can be like, okay, now I can watch my game window and uh, or scene window and see how it looks inside of the game from the main camera, while 
you can't really edit the landscape, which is their equivalent of terrain in Unreal Engine because of that. So when you have your camera preview, I don't, I guess this is a bug or something. I, it may even have been fixed. I don't know. I don't want to throw any comments about this, but I think it's good to let you guys know about that. Um, you can't really, you know, in Unity, when you're creating a terrain and you're going to make it like a hill or something, you can just click the button, uh, click the left mouse button and just drag your mouse all over the place. You can do that same thing in Unreal Engine with the landscape, but when you have the camera preview that is pinned onto the scene window, you can't do it for some reason. I don't know if it's, you know, if it's meant to be like that, which would be really stupid, or if it's a bug, or if it's already fixed or changed or whatever, but it's it was like that last time I used Unreal Engine, so I'm just gonna point that out there. And once again, I wanna come back to the blueprint system. So let me just tell you this, the blueprint system used to be a very simple system where you could basically just skip using coding and just straight up use the blueprint system in a game engine so that you can make a proper game. And Unreal Engine has took its take on it, but it's not very good. <laughs> For a programmer who's really just starting out with a blueprint system, I thought that it was a hell for me to get, in, get into it. Like I was watching some tutorial videos and they were literally creating like fields, variables for integer values. I was like, okay, this is probably easy because it's super simple to create it inside of programming. You just write like a few characters and it's done. But in Blueprint, it was just so much more difficult. And I thought, why would people ever choose this over programming? And that's the point where I got into C++ with U Unreal Engine. <laughs> I wish I did it because that was a nightmare. Like I'm used to C++. I programmed in C++ before using Visual Studio. So it was, it was a familiar feeling for me. But when I got into some tutorials and was watching how to make a mesh or, or now how to make a mesh, sorry, how to like, create a game object, instantiate it, and then register it inside of Unreal Engine, it was just a hell. Like in Unity, you literally just say, instantiate this game object at this position, and it's completely done. In Unreal Engine, from what I remember, now, I may be wrong, it's not, like, don't quote me on this, but because I just watched a few tutorial videos and they all told me like this. And you just have to, like, register all the meshes and create the mesh as a variable and then refer to it. And it was like, why am I supposed to do this if I'm never ever going to use the mesh again? It's just a simple game object that I want to create. Let me do it. Where else in Unity, it's like, okay, I want to create this. And you just go through, you know, instantiate this game object at this point, And it's like, cool it's done and as soon as you run the game it's completely there and you can even create a variable to refer to it you don't have to create a mesh and instantiate the mesh and then you know refer to the mesh as a variable it's it's so much more easy now once again these are my opinions and um, I'm talking from an experience of you know somebody who has used unity for several years and somebody for somebody who used unreal engine for like a few months and I've been trying to get into programming on, on Unreal Engine. It's not working out. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not even kidding. I was planning on making a game in Unreal Engine, but it was so difficult to get into Blueprint and then even programming that I was like, why am I even supposed to use this engine when I can use Unity? Now, I want to get into one point that I'm actually going to... I was almost going to say agree with, but I really like Unreal Engine at this topic, I guess. And that's the level designing. God damn, did they make a good level designing system. The, the landscape system is just incredible. You can literally make as many grass meshes as you want on that goddamn landscape and it's not gonna lag, it's not gonna create any trouble, it's not gonna crash. I mean, it's just so much better. As a level designer who's making YouTube videos, I was having such an ease moment when I got into level designing on Unreal Engine. Like the first couple of times I was like, what the hell is this shit? Like it's it's not even usable. But then I got used to it and I'm, now I'm like, holy shit, it's so much easier than Unity actually. On Unity when you're making a level design, you have to always go back to your grasses, always go back to your tree meshes or models or whatever and make sure that the billboard settings do not over exceed your um, whatever capacity your PC graphics card has. Or else in Unreal Engine, you really don't have that trouble at all. You just add your game object for the tree, add it inside of the, um, the landscape menu, and boom, you're done. Just go ahead and paint. 
it's not gonna lag and you're not gonna have a trouble with billboard settings because it automatically from what I've seen it automatically plays around with the billboarding and the shadowing uh, shadow distance effects and then you can obviously manually edit them but the default ones in Unreal Engine are just so good speaking of default values in Unreal Engine I also love the graphics because of the default post processing effects that they have with the default ones that you already get in Unreal Engine you really don't need any other assets or anything like that like they are so good optimized for your performance of the game or for your game's performance and they're also beautiful like it looks so good even though it's not lagging at all in unity the image effects are very good but it, they are not enough like if you want to make a professional looking game you it's not going to be enough for you you still have to use some sort of an asset and some sort of a you know component that is third party and not created by unity where else in unreal engine it's like oh look at this i got the image effects given by unreal engine let me just use them for my entire freaking game and that's a very good feeling because you don't really have to go to the internet and follow through many guides and many videos where they talk about the best post processing effects that are available but in conclusion guys, I really love both the engines and that's the primary reason why I still make videos with both engines on my channel and I'm probably never ever going to quit making them. And um, the main point here is that the game engines, both of them are very very good. Maybe, you know, these were my opinions so maybe you don't really agree with uh, let's say the blueprint system. Maybe you think the blueprint system is uh, is the easiest thing ever created, right? But IMO, it's not, and I really dislike it, to be honest with you. And um, I'm happy that I don't have anything to do with the blueprint system, so it's very easy for me to just get into Unreal Engine and um, start my level designing, honestly. The only downside is honestly the compiling times. Now, I'm not gonna throw a lot of comments on this because I don't really know if there is a fix for this, but Every single time you open up Unreal Engine, it's freaking compiling all the shaders and it's the most annoying thing ever. Like, I have never experienced something more annoying than that, honestly. But I'm actually gonna look through the internet and Google up that because I really want to find a fix for that. But in general, I really like Unreal Engine because of its level designing purposes. If I were to choose a game engine that I would make a game with, I would choose Unity because I am personally, in a biased way, um, more used to it because I've been working on it for literally years. Th the point is, um, I got used to Unity really easily even when I got started with it, but Unreal Engine, the blueprint system and the coding, I don't really like it and I don't really see why I should learn it, honestly. But maybe in the future I'm gonna be like, hey, let's, you know, switch it up a little bit and then gonna go ahead and learn it. And maybe I come back and I'm like, oh, what I needed I was for making this video because it's so much easier now in Unreal Engine. But you never know. And these are just my opinions for my current being. So <laughs> don't judge. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Obviously, you can judge. And let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about both of the engines, if you have used both of them, or maybe even haven't used any of them, right? So if you have any other game engine that you would suggest me to start using, or maybe even take a look at, please do let me know. I'm very interested in these kind of topics. But basically, in conclusion, I really do like Unity more than Unreal Engine for its general workflow. But I love Unreal Engine's level designing purposes. It's just so much easier than Unity IMO because you don't have to optimize as much as you do on Unity. But once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face down below. Let's shoot for 60 likes, guys, once again. Thank you very much for the, all the support on my previous video. Um, that was another commentary. If you haven't watched it yet, I'm going to leave the link in the description below because I know you guys are as lazy as me <laughs> when it comes to these things. So just click the link and go to that video and let me know what you think about that. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any game engines that you would like me to talk about or take a look at or maybe even tell me what game engine is your favorite, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time.